boom. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks for joining me for another unboxing. So excited to get this. Um, from Phoenix Artisan Recruitments. This only took, I think it was seven days from Phoenix themselves. And I was so impressed how fast the, um, the, the delivery is. It's, it's exceptional from that far away. Right, so excited. Um, and thanks for you guys for your concerns about the back. The back's doing a lot better. Um, I was in work and I actually got out of my van and I felt it go. There was a lot of pain, but then it was, it. so the disc has, has gone back in place and I'm doing a lot better. I'm off the painkillers and I'm having a shave -ish. So cheers guys. And it's cider. It's Bulmers. I threw the can away. Right, let's get on with it. And I'm using it because I, I can't find my draping knife. So I'm using this. This is the wife's. This is the wife's Mora knife that we use for wild camping. So I'm going to use that. So let's go. Looking forward to this. Got to be careful because this is a really sharp knife. I'll put it back. No, nope, don't want to go with them yet. Don't look. <laughs> right. To look at that one. All right, that was the first one. Right, here we go. We're down to it. The soaps. Right, let's push that to one side. The soap I couldn't resist because of childhood memories, and I wanted to know what it smelled like in um, the homage by Phoenix, and it's cold spice. Oh yeah, it's got that. But it's got that old spice, but it's like a a little bit powdery, powdery old spice. And I can't wait to try this to feel the menthol in it. So that that was the first one I couldn't resist. Right, this I definitely couldn't resist. I I I bought this one I think for the label. A lower smackdown. <laughs> Hasn't Frank got some, got some um, left hook on it? <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant label. I absolutely love the label. Oh yeah, Hawaiian punch. Oh, that is so sweet. That is a beautiful scent. That is absolutely beautiful. Tropical punch, hence the label. There's a lot going on in this, and I'll go through all the notes and everything when I use them for the shave. I, I, I and the scents. I don't want to go through them now because I want to keep this video shortish. And all these soaps are in the uh, cook and butter. I don't need the CK6. I'm happy with the performance and the slickness with with these. But if I need the um the extra slickness CK6. I've got the cubes, right? I've been dying to try this soap for a long time because it's had such great reviews, and I absolutely love the story about it. Every one of these soaps, if you go on Phoenix Artisan Recruitment's website, I'll leave a link in the description. If you go on any soaps at all, if you click on it and you read how Doug and Fran got to the sense of recreating the sense. It's such interesting reading, it's brilliant. And the labels, I absolutely love the labels. Anyway, number three is 
Hotel Cecil. It's a homage to the Burma Shave and... Oh, this is CK6. Sorry, I've got this in the CK6, this one. Um, Hotel Cecil's homage to Hotel Cecil as well. That is a nice forger. That is beautiful. I'm so looking forward to trying these. So that's number three. Number four is... I had to get this. Fresco. The reviews that I've seen on YouTube. Oh, wow. I know it's another homage to Old Spice, but it's the Old Spice Fresh scent. And I think I've got an original bottle of the Fresh. It's either the Fresh or the Sensitive. It could be the Sensitive. I, I can't remember. That is so uplifting. That is um, a happy, uplifting scent. That is beautiful. So there's the soaps, guys. Right. I don't know which ones they are. Great bags to reuse. You send your stuff away. I'll put that over there, out of the way. Right, which one's this? I'm gonna have to put a new edge on this before we go wild camping again. It was sharp. There you go. Right, which one's this? This is the cold spice splash to match. So we've got the matches set. I didn't get the bombs, I couldn't afford all the three, but uh, I've got enough bombs to get through. So, yeah, that's one set. Well, you know what these are going to be, but I'm going to go through them anyway. Put them together. Great strong bags, though. And this one is the Fresco. So, another set there. That was my phone, by the way. I forgot to switch it off. That's probably you, Mark. And this one is... Hotel Cecil. So we got the, uh, the set there as well. Last but not least, I can't wait to splash this on because that is such a happy scent, the um, chocolate punch. Yeah, there you go. Another matching aftershave set. So yeah, so that's four new soaps and um, oh, this one. Soaps in there, matching aftershaves. I got a chill mill. And there's the crystals to go in it. I look forward to using this. Because I've used several things. The, um, the ice cube and the mental cube are really nice and cool. This was recommended to me, and I'm not sure, I'm not 100%, don't quote me, but I'm not sure it was you, Sean, Sean Arter. I'm not sure it was you that said, get the chill mill. So, if it wasn't you, whoever it was, it was a while ago, I, I finally got one. Right. Seems I haven't got a blue razor in the den, so wanted the uh, the, the blue um, Rockwell 6S. Kevy, I think you should sell me yours, mate. Name your price. Um, so I got the Phantom Blue. I'm not a lover of light razors. That's why I don't use them. But 
I should broaden my horizons and use some. I've opened it upside down. So I've got this. I have got white razors. I've got the um, the Feather Popular. I've got the Gillette Knack. Um, I got one. I can't remember the name of the Brian Foley sent me as well. That, that I've going to get through more than what people have sent. So I wanted a blue one. So I got the Phantom Blue slant. This is light. This feels lighter than the blade almost. But I am looking forward to using this because I've, I've seen a, a lot of good reviews about it. So yeah, I finally got a blue razor in the den. Why won't that go on? There we go. So looking forward to using that. Get in. There you go. Well packaged. Good packaging. Beautiful. Love the box. And the twist adjustable open comb ascension flare tip series. Double open comb. So I got one of these. I wanted these for. I wanted to get one of these for such a long time, and. Uh, I wanted one a long time ago, but it was, it was sold out for ages. It's made of 316L stainless steel. Beautiful gunmetal finish on this. And there's the flare tip, double open comb. Yeah, absolutely beautiful razor. There is a, a nylon washer that goes with it. So I won't put that on yet. Absolutely beautiful. And because my favourite colour is blue, I got the blue tip to go on the bottom. Just for a variety of different shaves. I'll interchange the, uh, the flare tips. But my favourite colour is blue. So I went to the blue one. And that looks really, really nice against the gunmetal finish. That is beautiful. I'm gonna leave that one on. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your concerns about the back. New subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate you jumping on board. Some exciting shaves coming up. And look out for another unboxing tomorrow. So yeah, there's another unboxing tomorrow. Thank you, Mrs. B, for the loan of the knife. She doesn't know. <laughs> right, cheers, guys. I'm going. I'm looking forward to the next shaves that are coming up. And don't forget... Um, if you haven't entered the giveaway for the one year anniversary shave, one year on YouTube, check it out if you've just come across my channel. Enter hashtag one year and you'll be entered for the draw. Watch the video, it'll explain everything and what, what the draw is. So yeah, can't wait. Take care guys, have a fantastic weekend, smooth shaves and have fun. See you guys.